Hey. hey! What up, y'all? It's Norman coming at you a little bit off. Season 5, episode 12. The Duel. Duel will, Duel Peel. My name is Chris, Chief of Creative Content Johnson. But but the but the content spelled with a K. I'm the artist formerly known as Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Spidey. <laughs> this is Marqueta. It's Mikhail Scott. I'm Pat. The Office is an episode of TV that we are watching. The Duel, we don't know what's going to happen. Maybe Ooh, Andy and duel? Dwight will finally have a showdown. <gasps> and Andy will be like, I went to anger management, so I no longer have to fight. That no. would kind of make sense. Yeah, actually. seriously, don't worry. Do you think they do think they're going to duel over Angela? Fighting yeah, over yeah, Angela yeah, is like do, fighting do, do, over do, do, a do. turd. <laughs> if the other dog wants it, let him have the turd. Seriously. <laughs> the dogs fight over turds? Uh, yeah, the dogs fight over They eat poop. Though. I could mm. see two dogs fighting over cat poop since My they think dog cat poop does not. Okay. Well, I don't have that. a dog, but the last time I hung out with one, I saw him try to eat some doot doot. <laughs> hey, now to market substitute. Support the OG content. Feel free to support the Normies over on Patreon. Support us on Patreon means you get uncut, you get to watch ahead, and you also get to participate in polls that decide on the things that we're going to watch next. Are you guys enjoying The Office? Do you know that we double drop The Office sometimes? It was I like us in fast I did not know that. Oh, I know. We don't double drop the office. No, we yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you don't consume the normies on a full stomach or an empty stomach. Make sure that you're watching the normies at the appropriate time of the day. This could also be considered uh, something you could sue us over. Please don't sue us over I, watching the normies at an inappropriate time of the day. Thank ta- you. How are you talking so fast? Did you have another coffee? I'm sorry, he's not in yet. Would you like his voicemail? Yeah. But, what? Yeah. <laughs> Twelve miles an hour. Angela makes several miles an hour. <laughs> Cars going too fast in front of the building, so the police put up a radar gun. It's actually caused a bit of a traffic hazard. Thirteen. Thirteen. No, no, there was wind. <laughs> Bet I could smoke that. Here we go. <laughs> Bruh. There's a okay. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. <laughs> That's impossible. Beat it. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> I was kind of curious to see everybody's speech. I never thought about doing that. We should do that. Kinda, should. There's one right by my uh, That sounds kind of fun. Yeah. I get pretty quick on the bike. Ooh. Or should we just buy a radar gun? Yes. Uh, we can just run next to the e bike and it'll tell us how fast you're going. You know? My presence has been requested gun. by Chief Financial Officer David Wallace. He says that he wants to talk about big picture stuff. Little or no idea what that means. <laughs> new year, new candy. Okay, be careful, Kevin. They're kind of spicy. So maybe just try one. Dude, they're, they're, those are awful. I love those. Hot tamales are awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. Floor, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is insanely awkward. He doesn't know. Fight or flight. No one has RSVP'd to our wedding yet, and the deadline was yesterday. Fuck! You still don't what? know. What? Let's, what do you Why not tell <laughs> Because it's not that. Well, someone's gonna tell them eventually. At the wedding, I assume. Now you're shutting me out. You're not even listening, and that's really. <laughs> oh God! I don't get it. Michael knows. Oh, I, I God. still don't get it. Why, it why can't you tell us? Maybe they feel like it's not their place. That's been seven I mean, days. Oh, so, oh my yeah. God! I mean, eventually. Yeah, if this is long, man. This man needs to know. Just tell him. Kids have giant heads and bead stained teeth. <laughs> Someone has to plan on telling him. Like, there's right? A yeah, seventeen days is a lot. I am telling Andy. No, it shouldn't come from you. Who should it come from then? Angela. Angela. I love her, Angela. Yeah. Are you still having intercourse with her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and did Toby now not, not do anything? In he was in the in the room. Ugh. Where? Everywhere. Where? <laughs> this is where amazing. Dwight. <laughs> so you already know where. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love how you place my guys. I love it. The amount owed goes at the top. I didn't realize I was doing something wrong. I would have admitted it, <laughs> it right away. <laughs> Angela, she's gonna have to tell her. She's gonna have so much work to do. It'll be impossible. He's like, at do the end, you weren't saying something that could also apply to the form. How about I'm sorry I did such a horrorish job. <laughs> 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 That cannot yes. be true. Kevin. <laughs> yes, Kevin. Yes, Kevin. I'm charging a fee to cut my own cake. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's a cake cutting fee. Is that real? <laughs> Rule 17. Don't turn your back on bears, men you have wronged, or the dominant turkey during concave. mating season. <clears throat> no, that's the let's go really? fuck. Really? Yeah. Thing. We need to talk. What is it? You've got to tell Andy about us. Then we don't have to hide anymore. Do you love me or not? Why do you keep making me repeat it? Because you're engaged to Andy. Well, <laughs> not yet. When what? Uh, uh, maybe it should come when from what? Dwight. 
it seems like come on you guys should <laughs> be hearing what I'm saying <laughs> Angela said she was going to tell him she's just not ready is she crazy in bed yeah stop How what so specifically? okay listen <laughs> no. I'm out the window <laughs> also consider the fact that that man has an anger issue Michael yes. once this gets out I don't know how it's going to go down Andy walk with me Angela you better do something yeah you're going to let it come from Michael Scott Cars all the way over there. He can't. Just gotta wait till he gets in the car. <laughs> oh my god. You're not making any sense. No, I'm not. So I, I'll just leave it for another time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have a good meeting. Thank you. <laughs> Why is this person doing? Dwight and Angela are having an affair. So I can't hear you. <laughs> Dwight and Angela are having an affair. They're, they've been sleeping together for some time. I wanted to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like serious? This? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bit more dramatic. It should have been. It should have been a conversation. <laughs> Angela, you're a... <laughs> he better go up here and fight Dwight. She got no spine. And y'all know Dwight happening. keeps knives. You said that yesterday. Yeah, my neighbor got murdered. What the fuck? <laughs> if I'm sitting... I can't disable his neck or his groin. I'm in charge of Michael's gun, and I need you to sit. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go, baby. Where's my goddamn popcorn? Damn, Serge would miss these episodes. I think he's just gonna brush it off. No, we're doing this now. I need to talk to you. This is everyone's problem. Uh, I'm sick. Why we can talk right here? Shut the fuck up. We're not listening. Let's go to the conference room. Is it true? Is it true that you're sleeping with Dwight? I can't believe this. That doesn't sound like me. I'm engaged to you. I need a yes or a no. Would I have said yes to formal chrysanthemums if I didn't want to get married? Hey. Just answer the question. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. How long has it been going on? Just a tip. Just a little bit. We were together and then it, it never stopped. sprinkles and then we stopped and I don't know exactly when we started up again. Who else knows about it? Let me think about it. <laughs> oh my god. There. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sales staff I, is reporting uh, very strong numbers. And I don't know exactly how to put this. What are you doing right? Look, you're not the most traditional guy, but something you are doing is right. And I just I need to get a sense of what that is. I think it's a glitch. My philosophy is don't ever for any reason, do anything for any reason, <laughs> ever, no matter what, or who, or who you were with, huh? or where you've been, Bruh. ever. The, those, <laughs> those numbers were, uh... For any reason, whatsoever. <laughs> Sometimes I'll say They got the wrong numbers. And I don't even know where it's going. <laughs> like an improv conversation. <laughs> Improvisation. <laughs> Michael is doing something right. And in this economic climate, it's not really time for executives to start getting judgmental now. It's Hail Mary time. It's Hail Mary time? That's awful. So like missionary. I said nothing fancy. <laughs> you love what? I love you. That's you a are such a whole. We are at a crossroads. We Conversation's gone on longer than it needed to. Yeah. Let's prove them wrong. No. Should be fucking Dwight until they y'all are all in the grave. Right, exactly. Andy, please. Where's Dwight? You know what? I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for lying and not telling me what's been going on this entire time. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, baby. Oh, he's ready to fight. It's about to be a conversation, Boy, idiot. It's over. She broke up with you. No, I am not giving up. She's marrying me. Well, I don't know about that because she certainly seems to enjoy oh. making love making with me. Oh. You gotta throw scissors at him. Andy, so, drop it. Why don't we, uh... Just cool off a bit. I'm telling you to back down, and I'm telling you that I will never back down. <laughs> I will fight you. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> a duel. The winner gets Angela. I knew. Bye. This is nuts. <laughs> We're gonna do it outside. Outside of work. None of your business. None of your business then. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you high five? I've had two men fight over me before. Usually it's over which one gets to hold the camcorder. <laughs> <laughs> what? I will respect the results of the duel. I love this bitch. Life. <laughs> I call loser. The fuck? I call loser. Let's go. <laughs> At four o'clock in the parking lot. <laughs> Not over Angela's ass. Seriously. <laughs> get more involved or I take a sick day. Leaving Dwight in charge. Oh, God. 
<laughs> <You're> stuck. <laughs> 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 why why don't they just fire Angela? How'd that get there? <laughs> well in this economic climate, I don't think they can fire anybody. How how are they pulling the highest numbers? When I look over I have a theory. to our accounting division and there is Kevin Malone. I call over to Kevin. Kevin, is that a tweed jacket? I feel the need. The need for tweed. <laughs> And thanks for coming in. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Look at those numbers again, my dude. The need for tweed is a tattoo. <laughs> yeah, get out. You gotta fucking leave, but you gotta. <laughs> I mean, <it's>, <laughs> oh no. Had a whip. Come on, come on. She is loving this. Oh my god. I can't believe they're gonna fight over me. I guess people have fewer choices as they get older. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Where are you? Can somebody call the police? I mean, he's and just put this man in an asylum. On the desk of Andrew Bernard. Pathetic. By now you have received my note. It's come to my attention that in any physical match with you, I would surely be bested. The soft underbelly of my refined upbringing is He's gonna run him over. <laughs> He's gonna hit him with the fucking car. What's he doing? Why isn't Dwight He's gonna park around? into Dwight. He's silent if he keeps it under five miles per hour. He deserves the win. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to kill this man. As long as he keeps it under five miles an hour. Dwight, this car. Whoa! Come on! Ow! Jim's involved. I don't know what I would do. Protector for what? Bears, you idiot! <laughs> your legs broken? No. My right one's falling asleep a little bit. Andy, you alright? Go away, Tuna! I'm winning! <laughs> oh! Trust Fond will take care of that! What did you say? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I said. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm going to the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. How could she be sleeping with you this whole time? Only sleep with me twice. Uh, Jesus what? Christ. She's sleeping with you? <laughs> she said she was only sleeping with me. Both of you need to throw her in the trash. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, I need to, I need to work here for one shift. Oh, oh, break the engagement. Get your refunds. I don't think you can get refunds. There's no refunds. Yeah. He's lost like $100,000 at least. Just on deposits. So awkward. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, so who won? She's like, yeah. So who I go home with? Yes, hi, my last name is Bernard. Let's go. And I would like to cancel the wedding cake that I had ordered. Yep. Yeah, one shaped like a sailboat. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Neither of them want to talk anymore. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get chewed out, but hold on. Here's an attaboy for you. <laughs> Roller coaster. <laughs> Just goes to show you, Lee Scranton, exciting things can happen. Oh my god. <laughs> there was a car melee. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my what were you gonna do with it? Put ten in them. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I'm exhausted. Oh. All that information that came out needed to come out. I'm yeah. glad it happened. So why well, I, I can't believe that even when confronted, she was still there's lying. She's the worst. To the, both of them, yeah. she's the, lying. The only thing that makes sense to me is she's like incredibly religious, so she's lived a very suppressed yeah. life, and this is the first time she, that she's getting attention like this, and she doesn't know what to do with it. That's that's the only thing that makes. Sense. Well, you still know what's right. I mean, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's still mm -hmm. shitty, but like you still I should because she's like reveling in this. Like I don't I don't think she's ever that had. She like, liked the mm -hmm. she liked the idea of fighting you know? over her. And she's, been, she's probably been like shit. sexually oppressed too. And now she's She's got Christians are just weird. Have like a bunch of sex. Like I want to talk about the B story super quick. Here's what I think it is. What was, what was the B story? <clears throat> Michael. Oh, the numbers. The numbers. I think um, I think the numbers are right. I think David's coming to Michael and being like, "Hey, I need you to tell me why this works." I think I don't believe I'm going to say this. I think Michael's an artist. I think he's doing an art, and he doesn't know how or why it works. He just knows it works. <laughs> I think like, he's just friendly. I think he like I don't think he can write it down. Like asking like a painter. 
Like, you know, like, what, what is it? And I just like, I don't know. I just let my heart speak. I feel like Michael is just improv life. And he's such a good artist at it that it's working at work. It's really awkward sometimes, like, improv. But other times it works. And no one knows why or how. I it mean, just works. And he, he can't put it down on paper. I think it's, just like, this small town charm that he has is working for the small town people that he's dealing with. Mm -hmm. Like, like you, I think him in the a different that you, Like, in Utica, um, what's her name? Karen? Yeah. She is from new york or right she's from new or york she or she lived remember. there for a while so like she adopted the mentality of just you know like the hustle culture and like being like super corporate and i think that's how she how they're approaching their clients and it's just not working in a small town mm -hmm. yeah. you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's like it's kind of like a more personal basis but like you know this person and like you've done business for the last 20 years mm -hmm. and she's gonna keep it up yeah, it's chaos magic for me all right that's mm -hmm. it though what about a? Uh, Oh, oh. Hey. I am so tired and you exhausted. I am emotionally drained. Dude. I can't believe the way this happened. She's I wanted slimy, to see man. blood, but I didn't see no blood. I don't no. understand how this character stays around. We haven't seen any blood in the office, have we? No, even Mary. No. I mean, no. it couldn't have went down violently because it wouldn't have mattered. Like, those are two soft grown ass man that can't be out here wrestling outside. <laughs> also, I, why is Dwight so butthurt that she was fucking Andy, like he's fucking her. He's so, like, why would it even matter? He just realized that she lied to because him. Because she lied to him. No, she told like, him that she didn't he's fuck fu him. He's fucking the fiance. It's an obvious assumption to make, but like, yeah. you know, but she. Um, it's the lying. Like, but mm -hmm. he should have known that she's she goes home with Andy all the time. But that's the classic scenario: you cheat with the cheater, you get cheated on. You know. Yeah. He feels like he's getting cheated on because he felt like he was entitled to have her and yeah. only her. And even though he's with Andy, he was like, yeah, but that's fine. But I, he's still not having sex I've, with her. At least I am. I feel like Dwight isn't mm -hmm. able to pick up on like, I, I don't think for him they ever broke up. Like the cat thing for him feels like a hurdle that he's just got and kind of like, yeah. I don't, I don't she, think, she, I don't she, think she from his perspective that they've ever broken up. Yeah, because she even told him that she loves him. Yeah. And then she went to tell Andy that she loves him. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Angela's Cause she does, she's slimy, man. She's just, I, she just doesn't know how to. I don't know. Man. She's a whole dirt ball. I'm waiting for the for her revival, so I can be like, oh my god, it turns out. But I don't see that coming. <laughs> Still for Dwight too. He's got a long way to go, bro. Dwight's out here. Just it, it's weird that he's got all this toxic masculinity and he's a fucking weird beat boy, dude. <laughs> I just I don't know. It's wild. His confidence is odd. Like, but he I did have those weapons. Raised. though. Yeah, I, I'm like all those weapons. Man. I'm sure he could fuck shit up. Yeah. yeah when did, did you put a crossbow under the couch? And guess what? He got fucking aced by a Prius. <laughs> I, I had a man idled God. into him. I had a God. burst of memories come back to me towards the end of this episode and remembering like. What happens in the like the next couple seasons is, it's gonna be good. Yeah, oh, the, is that Prius in true? Like under five miles, you can't hear it. I mean, it's electric, right? Yeah. Well, it's a yeah. hybrid, so I mean, if I, it's I, running electric, I, you wouldn't hear. I, it. Can, I can never hear any electric fuels. You would That's hear a Tesla so creeping funny. up on you unless it was backing up. Damn. Dude, at one point, I don't think gas cars are ever gonna go away because there's always gonna be like purists in the future. But like, as more and more electric cars take over, like the highway noise, like the road noise, it's just gonna be like silent. Oh, fun fact, they're actually making tires. them make. Noise. Yeah, because yeah. people don't like the. Cause, yeah, because the silent is like it's a. It's like, well, for a. Uh, uh, it's like I don't like it. People who uh, people. for blind people they need yeah. to be able that, to hear where the roads too, are. Yeah. But that's why when Pat's car backs up or Serge's car backs up, they make noise. I think we should and just also like simulate they were talking about noise because it's like soothing. Well, so instead of doing that, well, I don't. I have you lived next to a highway? I'm gonna disagree on that yeah. one. Hardcore. What they've talked about <laughs> doing is all the cars I making like sounds, but making sure they're all in the same key so that they drive, but you can hear a difference. So I want it. It should all sound like a cat purring. <laughs> Aww. Right? I would just fall asleep in the car, boy. I'd yeah. Well, that. that's why it's got a self drive now. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, man. This was a. This was definitely a good one. And seeing this confrontation finally happen, and it being as goofy as it needed to be, <laughs> I, I love that because I, I. It can't be. It couldn't be them throwing down, right? Like that's kind of not what the show's about. I, I like that it was just like. Nope, here's two goof boys yeah. getting into the goofiest, dumbest, childish fight. I'm going to meet 100. you outside in the parking lot at 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, be there. Your ass is grass. And then it's just like, not even slap by Let's talk about the patience on Andy sitting in the parking lot for 10 minutes. <laughs> right. He just walked around until he found this note so that he could creep up on him with this car. The trap is like, It was yeah. great. Andy's great. So, yeah, yeah the white has got all those weapons. Man. He lost a fight. Mm. Yeah, he did lose a fight. I was kind of disappointed about that. You wanted him to win? Yeah, I wanted him to win. I mean, but he would beat up Andy. He can easily beat up Andy. Well, not that. Well, the, the 
Yeah, that's true. I'm mad the fight was over and he still went for the compound bow. Like, I'm not understanding <laughs> what was going on there. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that was for Angela. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> In the bloodline. I just, yeah. And I, I, is... I still don't get Dwight being jealous that. Dude, what if Angela. Because it does not make sense. Because Dwight is weird. He's Hold doing on. what she. Like, yeah. I still don't. I don't know why he's so jealous or upset about it because he's doing what. Yeah. And, but that that's the thing. He, like he he just takes Angela at her word. So like yeah. she she said she wasn't sleeping with Andy. So he so he was like that's enough for me. He thought like, it was it's, a it is dumb because like sure anybody thing. in that situation would have been like yeah of course you're probably having sex with him too. But like he didn't. That you know that's the. I don't know. He doesn't pick up on cues. I guess. I want to shout out to all the comments that keep calling Marquette to Angela. Marquette <laughs> apparently be the worst of the worst. <laughs> You know, as long as you guys are having fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, for you. there's some good, uh, there's some good parties here. I don't here. feel the need yeah. to explain myself. <laughs> we're going to get the Angela backstory, and it's going to be this. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> dark <Chris. laughs> Yeah, what happened in this those the five best years? I've what happened in those five years? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> All right, next one. All right, yeah, we'll see you guys at the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.